Let's now look at a couple of examples that combine uh, both these concepts of equations and graphing together. Actually, the easiest way to do this is to remind ourselves on how to linearize the data that we currently have in front of us. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the graph that you see and just move to the side very slightly here because I need to do some stuff with the data. And what I need to do is, if you remember from linearization, my independent is the thing that needs to change because it hasn't changed yet. This is an x squared function. And so in order to get to linearize, my x will need to be squared. So I'm going to come over here and first manipulate the data, just like we did in cal uh, calculations. So I'll create another column here. First of all, let's go independent and squared. And same thing with the units. Always do the same thing with the units that you're doing to the main variable. And now I'm actually going to do that calculation. Reminder, you hit the equal sign in order to tell Excel that you're going to calculate. And all I need to do is take this box and I'm going to square it by shift 6 and then square it. All right, I don't have to hit F4 on any of these because I want it to change. And again, I'm going to take the bottom right corner of the box because I want this trend to continue and pull it all the way down. And now I have all of these, which are my squared function. Now I could um, redo this entire graph. I could start fresh. I could come over here, hit insert like normal, hit the scatter plot, and get a whole new... Oh, Excel thinks I'm going to get some fun data there. Uh, but I don't want to do that, because obviously, as you can see, I have to start entirely from scratch, so I'm just going to get rid of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the one I currently have. So you can copy from the home right up here on the top left corner. We'll have all your copy and cut options. I like to just hit Control-C, and then you select the kind of uh, the cell here where it's going to go, and then hit Control-V, and now I've got a copy of the one right above it. And so I'm just going to change a few things about this to make this linearized. First thing I'm going to do is make sure and change my title here. Okay, this is not independent anymore. This is the independent squared. All right, dependent stays the same. And so all I'm going to come down here and show that these are both squared. Again. All right, and that was pretty easy to change. Now the only thing I need to do is uh, choose different data here. So again, I'll select the chart. If you remember, I come up right here to design. Click on select data. And this gives me my option, the same one as I had before. Now I'm going to click on the series. I'm not going to remove it because this is what I want. I'm just going to edit what it is. My Y values are exactly the same. So the only thing that I'll need to change is I do not want to pull from this one, but instead from over here. So I'll delete. And then click and drag the column for the X. And you'll notice that it straightens out very nicely. Last small thing that I'll hit OK again. Last small thing I want to do is I'm going to click my trend line because I don't like this to be in the power function anymore since it's a line. I still have equations, still have R squared, and I'm just going to change this to linear. All right, and there that is.